What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to our Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke, episode number eight, nine, eight, nine, nine. Definitely at episode number nine. In the last episode, we were on Route 205 and made it all the way through the Eterna Forest here to Eterna City. If you want to go back and check that out, go ahead and click the iCard up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're here in Eterna City and we're going to be doing... We're going to be leading up to the gym battle. We are not by any means ready to take on the gym because I looked at the levels and holy crap, the levels are a lot higher than we are. But if you're excited for today's episode of Pokemon Platinum, make sure to hit the like button down below. Do subscribe to become a member of the domination of the Pokemon community. I keep stumbling over this stuff. I'm trying to say I sound like Looker. Jesus Christ. And go ahead and answer whatever the question of the day is at the top of the screen. Um, I'll probably come up with that as we go. But let's start off with a team recap. We have Manali, our Dark Rock type Rhydon, holding the Razor Fang with Headbutt, Ice Punch, Bounce, and Detect. Then we have Dagny, the Unreliable, our Water Fighting Hypno, with Steel Wing, Overheat, Leech Sheet, and Me First. Next up, we have Nadia, our level. What are Poison Normal Palkia with Signal Beam Power Swap and Block? And we have Zacomo, our Fire Bug type Tauros, holding the Quick Claw with Fire Fang, Crunch, Rock Smash, and False Swipe. Now, as I said, I don't know what's going on in this town. Team Galactic. Okay, Team Galactic's taking things. I obtained a friendship checker, great, for when I go to evolve my Umbreon. Cool. Now I know there's something I could do. There's a lot of galactic guys standing around. Oh, is this it? I am. I am the first to have gone underground and dig tunnels. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make this a gift to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. My gift to you, the Explorer Kit, will instantly take you underground. You, don't, you, need, you need only to use it, and you will be down in the tunnels. The underground is a different world where you can do this, that, and the other thing too. Let me mentor you in becoming a full-fledged Spelunker Will you take on that challenge. Oh gosh, I didn't think about this. Um... No, that's okay. Alright, that's fine. I might decide to do that later, but that's not the, that's not like the primary focus of our series. We're not, we're not out to do everything in this game. This isn't our expanded let's play of plat, of, uh, excuse me. This isn't our expanded let's play of Pokemon Ultra Moon. This is a randomized Nuzlocke. Man, old people always complaining that things aren't the way they used to be. Like me, complaining that things aren't the way they were when... No, I don't need you to change nicknames. Uh, that things aren't the way they were in, like, the 90s. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a Ghastly? Do you want to trade for my Beautifly? Why don't you go talk to that other useless person in Rustboro City? It's just down the road. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm just trying to talk to this person. Okay, what did they just give me? TM67, which in this game is acid armor. All I see is like $1,500. Which is actually not that bad. Let's see. I want our question of the day to be something Sinnoh related, like... Like, what's your favorite city in Sinnoh? What's your favorite area? Um, what's your favorite area? There we go. We can just do that. Question of the day. What is your favorite area in the Sinnoh region? Mine... Well, you should be able to guess mine. I feel like mine should be pretty darn obvious. It's 
Okay. My favorite place is the... is this area here. Hold on. Let's go in here. I, this area right here, starting like right up this way, Route 216, Route 217, Acuity Lakefront, and Snow Point City. Ugh, I love this. I, I don't know if I love how much it like slows down because I know it takes forever to get through, but... Trying to take my Pokemon? Uh oh! Hey, Domino! You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there! Um, don't just assume what I want because... Aren't you the one that normally copies me? What the? <clears throat> so... This is Eternal Pokemon statue, shaping our world, our time and space, an inter intertwining spiral. Reverted it. Oh my gosh! Come on, David. Ah! Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth, needs investigation. Part of me, stand aside. I can't read, and it frustrates me so much. Oh hey. When we get sm when we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you'd never lose. You'd be an invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon tracks. You see you around. This sounds like some stupid crap that Sam's would say. Jeez. Isn't there something back here? Like we're gonna meet somebody really important soon. This music is also really loud. At first, like, I mean, I it should be the perfect level for you, uh, but for me, it is pretty loud in my in my headset. All right. Don't. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sheesh, what is this world coming to? Someone ripped off the description plate from the Pokemon statue. Now no one can read the inscription. Why would someone do that? Actually, want to know what it said? The first inscription went like this, sort of. Something creation of Dia... Giver of time. And laughter there is tears. And likewise, the same time flows the blessing of Dia... Yikes, I've forgotten big chunks of it. Want to hear about the other? A birth of Pal, creator of parallel dimensions, alive yet not alive, but rifts in space to arrive in the same universe. The blessing of Pal. I've heard some people talk about once being a third. I'm kind of skeptical though. I mean, think about it. A third Pokemon along so alongside those that control time and space? There couldn't possibly be a Pokemon that mighty. You are right. There couldn't possibly be a Pokemon that mighty. This is Eterna City still! Oh no 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 Okay. Oh crap, okay. Um, I didn't think we met her now. We're changing the question of the day because I didn't like the question of the day that we had. Who is your who do you, who is your favorite champion in all of Pokemon? I mean I should have done that, but I thought we were gonna meet her after the gym. My favorite champion in all of Pokemon is Cynthia. I think she's by far the best champion. I think she's one of the sh absolute strongest trainers in Alola. Some people say, or it, what? I've been playing way too much Ultra Moon. Anyway, I think she's one of the strongest trainers in the Pokemon world, and she's for real. She's not overrated. Shut up if you think so. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite champion is. Oh, that device you have. Is it a Pokedex? God dang it, I accidentally pressed the, the button. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello, Domino. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately. Just out of curiosity. Here in, Etern here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. Nice. 
Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that you're previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. That would have been so funny if Cynthia, like, stopped and looked over at that grunt. It's like, what are you doing here? Anyway, I feel like it's time to go take on the gym, which... But this is Eterna City, so we have an encounter here that we can get. We're going to use our old rod. See if we can fish up an encounter. All right, we're going to speed up our old rod. Come on, I know it's here. I know there's got to be something here. I'm... I know that it sometimes takes a few tries. There's no way there's just not encounters. Okay, I was about to say. Our encounter is a... Sharpedo. Okay. What a false swipe. That didn't even, that didn't even get it to one. The Como, you're stronger than that. Come on. Come on, Zakomo! You're stronger than that! Alright, let's change up these settings a bit. Actually, hold on. Generate a name! Is that really a feminine name? We have Carvana, the savage Pokemon. Grass electric type. They swarm any foe that even invades their territory. Their sharp fangs can tear out bolt holes. Yes, give a nickname to Carvana. Its name will be... Itoro, the female. Let's check out Itoro, the female. Itoro, the female, like we said, grass electric type, hardy nature, which, like, doesn't that raise speed and lower, it looks like, attack, maybe? Clear body prevents the Pokemon stats from being lowered. With Bone Club? That's actually not bad. Excuse me. Bone Club, Rock, though, and Growth. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and keep her here at Route 211. Our encounter is... A gloom gloom gloom. I could evolve gloom right now. I could evolve gloom like right now, right now. You absorb that light. Because so I have a sunstone. Hmm. Hmm. Should I evolve gloom right now? We have Gloom, the weed Pokemon, psychic type. The honey it drools from its mouth smells so atrocious, it can curl noses more than a mile away. That's a little ridiculous. A mile away? That's a long ways away to be, well, I guess just to, to put out a scent, I guess it, we have Banu. The Psychic Type Gloom. Check you out. Mild Nature. Look at those stats. Snow Cloak. The Solar Beam. Water Sport. Focus Energy and Heal Block. So, won't be using Banu right now. Because of that move. Found a Choice Band. There was an Infernape in this grass. That's so upsetting. Okay, never mind. Because it would have teleported. Oh, I knew you were a trainer. I can't believe I just fell for that. Oh, I cannot believe I just fell for that. Ah! Stop that. Stop that. It's not as serious as you're making it sound. As you're making it seem. The Como is. Zacomo, ooh, if it wasn't for Zacomo, we would be in trouble. 
day. So here's what we're doing. I could travel all the way back to Rustboro City and trade in my fossil. However, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Because we have four Pokemon that are not terrible. We specifically have three that are pretty good and Dagny is there too. So I think The levels in the gym are going to be in the 20s. But... Which I can't pass. Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure at the Pogo... Oh, snap! Let's go! Yeah, okay. I, I thought so. Alright, Gardenia, what's up? Oh gosh, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hi! I'm Gardenia! I'm this town's gym leader! My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy! Actually, his name was Sam's! He told me about you! <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like, I don't like the voice being quite that high. Like, he, he said that the other challenger's on his way, so that made me antsy! At my gym, no one gets to battle the gym leader me until the end! The challenger has to be like all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. I was thinking about that voice earlier today. That's not the voice I had come up with. Oh, I'm nervous. I I'm actually really scared. I'm actually really quite scared. So starting with level 19. Dynamic Punch. I am going to switch into Dagny. A Leech Seed. I'm a Steel Wing. Alright, and now I'm gonna go for the overheat! Oh, I lulled you into a sense of... A sense of... Safety. You thought you were safe. Some of these animations... I'm trying to use the, the speed up button a little less at least. But some of these animations just take so long. Went underwater. Look at that strategy! Oh my gosh, that's so, that's so awesome. I mean, it would have been awesome if it was anybody except Dagny. That... This gym's four o'clock. You can walk on its hands. That's how you get to the next trainer. Was like do I need to press a like why is it taking so long goodness gracious oh crud uh cuz money's like tight right now I'm gonna run back real quick uh so today we're gonna try and get through all the gym trainers or we might yeah well I guess we'll try and get through all the gym trainers Still got a few minutes left. I just don't want to keep holding down the speed up button all the time. It's just... Man, there's some very slow animations in here. There's some very slow animations in this game. So, I'm not going to do any speed up button in this battle. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Actually, you know what? The good thing about not speeding up 
You get to listen to these bangers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nidoran female. Nidoran male. 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 I said the wrong thing. I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I think I just missed saw it. Rain dance. Oh no. If he uses hydro pump and kills me. If he uses hydro pump and kills me. You bet you flinched. That's Manali. Manali with the Razor Claw is the best idea I've ever had. Everything will flinch against me. You're good though. Yeah! Manali! Manali! And that's... I mean, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad, but watch this. No speed up button. Get to watch it crank. Oh! They actually sped it up that time. Oh, and I can get out. Okay. I was like, why did it go so far down? That's... Gardenia! See, if this was me, I would just jump up there and be like, hey! I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate you treating me like this. We only have one trainer left? Oh, crap. Can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. That's, a, that's such a girl thing to say. What you mean? I, I'm pretty sure I'll be just fine. Ooh. Level 21. Level 21. Level 21. T -t 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 21. Two flinches. Critical hit. Manali is broken. Manali is broken. Okay. This is broken. I should not be able to do this. The floor clock moves and time flows. It's only our gym leader left. Go on. Don't be afraid. Should I do it now? Should I just do it now? Should I just do it now? Should I just do it now? Her ace is gonna be like level 24. I'm level 19. You know what? We met Cynthia in this episode. We're done. We're done. Now, in the next episode, we are going to go ahead and... Oh, dang it! In the next episode, we are going to go ahead and take on Gardenia. I do think I'm going to train up just a little bit. Since we're only carrying four people on our team, um, I might just go to like level 20, maybe 21. Maybe I'll do two 21s and two 20s. Or maybe I'll do two 22s and 220s. I haven't fully decided, but whatever it is, it'll be in the next episode. So today we explored all of Eterna City. We caught a couple new Pokemon. We met Cynthia, which is amazing. And then we battled our way all the way to the gym leader fight here. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination as we take over the Pokemon community. As I said in the next episode, we are taking on our second gym leader, in the Sinnoh region. Also, don't forget to comment your question of the day down below, which is who is your favorite champion in all of the Pokemon world? Let me know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, spread positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.